one of the major issues in Revit is that you cannot actually scale your conceptual masses, at least not that easy. And of course, not to mention the non-uniform scaling abilities are definitely not existed in Revit. Therefore, we have to use a couple of scripts to do that. We just have to search for scale and we're going to find conceptual scale multiple masses, conceptual scale single mass. Also, there's conceptual scale updater. So let's go ahead and try conceptual scale multiple masses. In this script, we're going to select multiple masses altogether and we're going to be able to scale them together. However, the single mass is actually going to select one single mass. Let's go to the multiple masses. And after we have already selected the masses, let's go ahead and try to understand some options. There's old X and new X, old Y and new Y, old Z and new Z. It's actually just like scaling by reference. If I wanted one for old and two for new X, then the X axis scaling will be doubled. The same applies for the Y axis. And for the Z axis, I'm going to leave it one to one. That means I'm not going to change the height. Let's play it and wait a bit for it. As you can see, Dynamo has generated a couple of masses. If we went into the elevation view and moved them a little bit, just to see how Z is actually stayed the same. That means the height hasn't changed at all only the x and y axes has been changed for those masses it could also be seen more clearly from top view you can see that the x and y axes of these masses have been increased now let's try the single mass the single mass is for just single mass however this time i'm not going to change the old and the new y and x i'm going to change the z i'm going to go to elevation view i'm going to measure the existed z which is 29 to 74. this is going to be my old z 29 0.274 and the new one is gonna be 40 so I'm gonna make 40 Z height now after uh, doing that let me just go ahead and play it as you can see the mass size has definitely changed in the elevation view if I measured it it's gonna be 40 meters let me move it to the side as well and head back to 3D. How about if I wanted to update the scaled masses? So I want to change the original ones and I want to make the other masses re get updated or refreshed, let's say. So I've changed that one and let me just uh, make this one like this and let me just uh, uh, change it a bit more and now I want the I want Dynamo to refresh everything. So I'm going to go to conceptual scale updater and I'm going to hit play. Let's wait a bit for it and you will see that every mass now is updated to the new change. Now, the awesome thing is actually you can divide. Let's choose triangle flat and perhaps uh, isolate it to better understand it give it something like this and apply the triangle pattern how about if i made an update now will the conceptual updater understand that let me just um, change the masses just a little bit like that and let me just uh, squeeze it something like this and let me now try to run the conceptual mass scale updater and see what happens. As you can see, the masses are updated and the pattern is also updated with it. That means Dynamo has created a smart dynamic relationship between the original masses and the scaled ones.